My name's Miles, Daniel Miles, and this is a Dunkey of London has fallen, so are Gerard Butler and Aaron Eckhart. Alright, so let's break it down. After the Prime Minister's untimely death, a gathering of world leaders becomes the most valuable terrorist target in history, and is subsequently attacked by someone with a plan that even Ernst Stavro Blofeld would call overcomplicated. Alright guys, so as I was watching this, I was thinking this would be a great 80s throwback film. I mean, you've got the lone action hero, the hundreds of bad guys who can't decide whether they're heavily trained or expendable red shirts, there's all the ingredients here, except for charm, subtlety. Halfway through, I was internally begging, please, say a one-liner, make a joke. This film is so grim and relentless in the violence once it gets going that by the end, it's just exhausting. Where at least the old Arnie films knew what they were and made sure that every now and then there was a one-liner. Hell, even Die Hard had one-liners. This is just grim and relentless and this is film as video game. I swear to God, you could use this as a video game and I don't think anyone would notice the difference. There's so many errors regarding London in this film. I'm actually going to do a separate video on how badly this film screws up my city. The bad guy for once is completely justified. In the first five minutes there is a drone strike on an unarmed wedding party. We see this, there is absolutely no grey area on whether or not the good guys have committed a war crime here. And yet the film forgets it almost immediately. They should have cut the first five minutes immediately and just have him be an arms dealer or something. Because this is not a good way to start what could have actually been a pretty solid popcorn flick. Aaron Eckhart I used to think was going places, but now I see he's really not. He's solid again as the president. Gerard Butler, yeah, he's fine as the unstoppable, godlike one-man army. But where this film falls down is everywhere else. It's got a relatively low budget of about 60 million, which shows up in the CG effects and the acting and the stunts. It's far too limited for what it needed to accomplish. Now, I liked Olympus Has Fallen. It was Die Hard in the White House. I popped it on the other week and I thought, yeah, this is fine. But again, the flaws were there. This film needed a lighter touch. You can still have the Lone Man Army. Don't get me wrong, you can still do that. But just have a bit of charisma or a spark or something in there. As this is, this is dull, repetitive, grinding. It's a 93 minute film and the first 15 minutes I was getting bored. And once the action does start, it's so relentless, there's no chance to even breathe. And whereas that can be a positive in some films, in this film it is most definitely not. This film is poor. I'm Daniel, this is a donkey. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe.